good afternoon and welcome you all to this session of conduction and convection heat transfer last class we were discussing heat transfer through extended surfaces known as film the situation is that extended surfaces are attached to a base surface to enhance the rate of heat transfer from the base surface and these extended surfaces provide additional surface area for convective heat transfer from its lateral surfaces along with conduction through these surfaces and through this that is by providing additional area for convective heat transfer from lateral surfaces these fins or extended surfaces enhance the rate of heat transfer from the base surface and what we discussed we formulated the differential equation for temperature distribution by applying the conservation of energy to an element in consideration of one dimensional heat conduction through the fins that is the extended surface along with the convection from the lateral surface and we have solved for the temperature distributions for different cases or situation of the field which impose the different boundary conditions for the solution of the differential equation for temperature today you just have a overall summary before that i tell you different types of fin that are used overall view this is the straight rectangular fin is the most simple case that the cross sectional area of the fin is constant same this is the base surface as i have just told this is the extended surface known as fin which provides additional surface this surface top bottom this surface these are the surfaces this lateral surface all these surfaces additional surfaces for convective heat transfer along with the conduction to this fin along this direction for which the heat transfer from this base surface where it is attached is enhanced this was discussed and from the conservation of energy principle we developed the differential equation for temperature and we solved it under different boundary conditions different situation these are different types of fin straight fin but non uniform cross section c this is an annular fin sometimes it is known as circumferential fin in a cylindrical chamber these are used sometimes in heat exchangers this type of fins are used the circumferential fin or annular fin number of fins may be used there are also there may be number of fins only one fin is shown this is one fin with non uniform circular cross section like a conical shape okay circular cross section this is sometimes known as fin 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 with non uniform circular cross section this is the same thing in a cylindrical tube where the heat transfer from the surface for all these cases the heat transfer from the base surface is enhanced by attaching this extended surfaces or fins here the fins are longitudinal longitudinal parallel to the axis of the cylinder that's why this is known as longitudinal fins in cylindrical tube this is a fin similar type like this is a parabolic profile non uniform so different types of fins are used this you can get in any classical textbook nothing great now these are the things which we discussed last class that we first discussed infinitely long fin where the base is at a temperature tv base temperature is same for all cases now if the fin is infinitely long we impose the boundary condition from our physical sense that ultimately the temperature at this exposed end becomes the surrounding fluid temperature t infinity in that case our temperature distribution is exponentially decreasing e to the power minus m h t minus t infinity t b minus t t b is the base temperature t is the temperature at any section x so at x tends to infinity it is t infinity so star goes to t infinity another thing is that this type of solution 
at the same time we say zero slope dt dx is zero at x is equal to infinity when x tends to infinity and the heat transfer rate accordingly is given by this hp or thk root over tb i sorry root over thk tb minus q case two we discuss spin with insulated t where we impose the boundary condition dt dx zero that means spin t is insulated no heat is being transferred from this exposed surface this surface that means all the heat which is being extracted from the base is being convected from the lateral surfaces so that here the heat transfer is zero that is the physical concept boundary condition is imposed in terms of the temperature gradient whenever there is an insulated surface adiabatic surface heat transfer boundary condition is in conduction dt dx is zero because heat transfer is zero like your fluid mechanics shear stress is zero du dy is zero one dimensional case similar thing so that the temperature profile is that it does not attain the t infinity temperature this temperature is higher than t infinity because of this insulation but the slope is zero the shape of the curve is such it becomes parallel to the axis so that dt dx is zero number 3 case that also we discussed in the class that here we impose the most practical situation that we don't insulate this it is open to the atmosphere that means the fin shear heat by convection through this lateral surface this bottom surface okay the side surfaces both the sides and also at these exposed surfaces at this end extreme end so these exposed surfaces heat transfer there we prescribe the condition of surrounding fluid t infinity so therefore while solving the equation within the fin at x is equal to l here uh well this diagram is a uh, little wrong i am sorry to tell you uh, probably it is wrong from the place where it is taken this point this line should coincide with the length of the fin because this part is outside so it is wrong from the place where it is taken you see even the published thing at sometimes this is because of our overlooking the error while reading the proof so therefore here what happens the temperature changes and it has a slope not zero slope which determines the heat transfer minus k dt dx and should be matched with the convective heat transfer at this interface that is this solid exposed surface with the surrounding gas so that this slope is matching with this and this is the temperature distribution by convection after this that means from this surface there is a decrease in temperature in a thin film due to convection which will be dealt in details in convection classes sub class when we will we'll take convection heat transfer so this comes to thin this is to understand and in this case with this type of boundary condition it becomes a routine calculation with little complications algebraic manipulations are little tedious so that we get a temperature distribution theta by theta b nomenclature you know theta is the excess temperature over the surrounding fluid temperature theta b is the base temperature over the surrounding fluid temperature that means theta are the temperature over the excess fluid temperature so accordingly the heat flux is given by this expression this gives hyperbolic function another case where we fix the fin temperature at the end that means fin temperature is fixed at the end by some arrangement of pulling fluid we keep a fixed fin temperature we are not much bothered how it is done but we think mathematically as if the temperature is given at x is equal to lcl so we solve the equation we know the boundary condition at x is equal to lp is equal to tl in that case the temperature distribution is like that and it doesn't reach the infinity and the temperature distribution if you find out it will be like this okay so this is the fixed temperature at uh, sorry fixed temperature at the end of the fin temperature distribution and the heat flux what is meant by fin efficient what is fin efficiency let us take this 
that this is the Let us have this base plate. And we have this is not correct, the drawing is not. Let us not do this thing. Let us think of we can do this, but this will Let us think this way that a set this is the base and this is the rectangular pin, this is the pin. Now, pin efficient. What is meant by pin efficient? Pin efficiency eta f. The pin efficiency is defined like this. Now, if the base temperature is T b, the heat is transferred, an amount of heat is transferred Q from this portion of the base where the pin is attached and this portion of the base where pin is attached a huge amount of heat transfer takes place because of what because of this heat transfer from these lateral surfaces you can show this surface like this also That means the top surfaces, this surface, bottom surface, this surface, again this surface, back side, all these surfaces, the front side, these surfaces and these exposed surfaces, everywhere the convection, Q convection, Q convection. From this surface also, the lateral surface Q convection. Q, this we already did in the last class, Q convection. And from this surface also, finally, convection heat transfer is there. If it is not insulated, that means this side, this side, top surface, bottom surface, that means all lateral surfaces, convection heat transfer is there due to this large surface area, the convective heat transfer is huge, so that finally this heat that is coming from this base where it is attached is enhanced. That is the basic principle of pin. But one thing, what we assume that it is a one-dimensional problem, 
usually the large screen, so that we consider this direction is the x. x. Okay? That means this is the x direction from this plane. From this plane. So at any x, the temperature is T, which is same in this direction, width of the uh, fin, thickness of the fin or height, whatever you can tell, that means same temperature, but it changes with x, and this T is always less than T V, that we have already seen, that temperature is maximum at this point, and then slowly decreases to a temperature, and pristine temperature is T V. Now, with this knowledge in background, how does the fin enhances the heat transfer? The efficiency is defined as the actual heat transferred from the base, that means this portion of the base where the fin is added. Let us write this as QA, that is the heat transfer through the base. I am not writing it, I am telling heat transfer through the base with the attachment of the fin in actual case. So, why I am telling actual case? This case is okay, this is actual. Why? That is because the denominator defines a quantity Qb, which is the heat transfer, rate of heat transfer from the base where the fin is attached if the entire fin could have been at the base temperature. That means the entire fin attains a uniform temperature, that of the base. When it can attain, if the thermal conductivity of the fin is infinitely high. So, infinitely high thermal conductivity of the fin. Otherwise, in actual case, the fin temperature decreases along the direction x. But at any x, this is same for all the lateral surfaces. This I took, we took in deriving the temperature distribution, the differential equations for temperature distribution from energy conservation principle. So, this is the definition that heat transfer, I may write this, rate of heat transfer, rate of heat transfer from the base which spin this is the actual rate of heat transfer and this one is rate of heat transfer, rate of heat transfer from the base if the if the entire fin is at base temperature, is at base temperature. Now, Qb therefore can be written like this, if H is the heat transfer coefficient with our nomenclature P as the perimeter of the fin, that means sum of this dimension, this plus this into 2, this, this side and the bottom surface, that is the perimeter, into the length of the fin, if this be the fin length, the length of the fin, length of the fin times the T B minus, because the entire fin is at base temperature. So, therefore, the ideal heat transfer, that means considering the fin to be infinitely thermal conductive, so that having infinite thermal conductivity H P L theta B. Therefore, the expression of fin efficiency depends upon the expression of Q A. If you take long fin, long fin where the fin length L tends to infinity, very large length we know that Q A is equal to, <coughs> what is Q A? Root over 
HPKA theta B. So therefore, in this case, theta F is equal to root over HPKA theta B divided by HP L theta B. And this becomes, if you cancel it, 1 by M L, where M is given by our nomenclature that root over, we denoted M as root over H P by K A. So, it is very simple that you substitute the expression in the numerator for the actual heat transfer. In case P nuit insulated tip, P nuit insulated tip, P nuit insulated tip, what will be eta f? Eta f will be, this is H P L theta B and heat transfer which we derive, I have shown it also, it will be root over H P K A, same thing, but tan hyperbolic M L into theta B. M is the nomenclature root over H P by K and this becomes tan hyperbolic M L divided by M L. So, depending upon the cases, we can find out the efficiency expression. So, therefore, the question of fin efficiency comes because of its conductivity. At the very first class, I told that we are putting a conduction resistance, though we are adding a more convection area to enhance the heat transfer. But if the conduction resistance is very large because of very low thermal conductivity, so that there is a drastic drop in temperature along this direction. So, heat transfer from the lateral surface may not be augmented that way because the heat transfer depends not only on the surface area, but also on the temperature difference. So, therefore, there is a race between the two that we have to be careful that the fin should not have a large temperature drop, it should have a high thermal conductivity and in the most ideal case is that thermal conductivity is such that the entire fin is at base temperature. So, with this if you compare, you define a parameter like this which is known as fin efficiency. Now, here we see a number of fins, array of fins, a system with array of fins. This is the base plate, number of fins are there. Here it is, there are three fins, it is shown base wall at a temperature of T B and surrounding fluid T infinity. So, here how do you define the fin efficiency? Same thing, but little calculation that fin efficiency here it is defined as the Q from the system, fin array system. Q, can you see Q fin array system divided by Q from the same fin array system at T B. That means the entire system is at T B. What is the difference? Difference is that here fin array system, when we consider Q, then we have to consider the heat transfer from the fin, also the heat transfer from the unfin portion. Okay? Now, if we have a nomenclature like this, let us consider A F is the total surface area of the fin, total surface area of fin. And if we have, if we make this nomenclature, it is the total area, 
total heat transfer area, total surface area. And this surface area means heat transfer area which takes part in heat transfer. Total surface area including both the surface, all surface area of fins plus uncovered portion. That means these are the uncovered portion. AT. AT is the total surface area. That means uncovered portion plus fins. Then we can write here Q that numerator QF fin array system Q fin system Q fin system okay Q fin system can be written as I can take this here because already I have told this. So, Q fin system is the heat transfer from the fin. That means if A is the total surface area of the fin, then A into A F into theta B. What is theta B? Theta B is theta B here I write theta B is the T B minus T infinity. Now, here what I want to tell you that how we can write the efficiency of a fin array system in terms of the individual fin efficiency. If we assume the individual fin efficiency is eta f which is constant same for all the fins then we multiply this with eta f gives the heat transfer from all the fins h a f theta b considering fin at the base temperature so this is the ideal heat transfer and this is multiplied by the fin efficiency of the individual fin at as it was defined earlier gives the heat transfer from all the fins plus the unfin portion that is a total minus a f that is the area into h into theta b h into theta b and the denominator will be the total area a t into h into theta b that means how to express this if we know the total surface area of the fin and total surface area including the unfin portion plus fin. So, minus the fin portion this is the area of the unfin portion a t minus a. This can be written in a simple expression taking a t h theta b separate term 1 minus theta b cancels out h cancels out a t h theta b h cancels out 1 minus a f by a t into 1 minus eta f eta f ok efficiency eta f q f now sorry 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 it will be the efficiency of the array system efficiency fin system not q f i am sorry it is efficiency of the I wanted to first start with this with the numerator ok. So, I have done at the same time. So, ok I first started to write this expression in the numerator however, does not matter the numerator is the Q that is heat transfer of the fin system that is the heat transfer from the fin that is the heat transfer from the unfin portion. So, theta for the fin system is divided by a t h theta b divided by the heat transfer of the entire base with the fin when they are all at the temperature T B. So, when eta f then equals to 1 eta fin system also equals to 1. That means, we can express the efficiency of a fin array system in terms of efficiency of individual fin ok. Now, another important concept in practice I will tell you 
which is very important for engineers. We define pin efficiency, okay, this is the definition, we understand. The ideal case is a highly conductive pin with the superconductor, whose temperature is equal to the base temperature, and we define the pin efficiency, the actual heat transfer with the pins, and what is the heat transfer if the entire system with pins attains the same base temperature. Now, question arises whether how much we gain by adding pins. Sometimes it happens that, okay, there is a monotonic gain, but what is the return? Whether it is economic to use that after certain stage. Under certain cases, whether things are really required or not, if we have a marginal gain in enhancing the heat transfer, then cost will not provide, you cannot judge from the economic point of view, because you have to purchase fins, you have to go for manufacturing, attaching the fin surfaces, the entire fin system has to be fabricated. So, therefore, a question comes, effectiveness of the fin, to judge whether it is effective to use fin. Effectiveness of fin, that means to judge this, let us define a parameter the similar way as the efficiency but E effective, effectiveness. That means it is known as effectiveness, but frankly speaking, physically efficiency and effectiveness is same. Effectiveness of performance is efficiency, but here it is defined in a little different way. Efficiency is the effectiveness of its performance when it is performing, but now I will judge what is the difference between the two that it performs or it does not perform. That means, if we define effectiveness as Q with fin or Q without fin, efficiency by definition is always less than 1, because fin can never attain TV temperature, like Carnot cycle, like 1 is the theoretical limit, but here also it is always greater than 1, we have seen always heat transfer will increase, but how much, what is the gain, what is the gain, let us see that. Now, in a very simple expression, if I write that this is equal to efficiency for a single spin for example, spin H, H, no, simple, yes, H will come, H spin area, surface area of the spin into theta v. That means simply I multiply with the efficiency of the fin, A is heat transfer coefficient, A is the surface area that is provided by the fin. And what is this without fin, without fin base area theta b. That means I get an expression A by A b into eta f. This is so simple, but it tells many things. That means I gain by using fins because I have a huge value of A by A B. But I should also consider if theta A B is also not very low. If you multiply with a high value, with a very low value, if theta A B is very low, my gain may not be very high. That means I am providing additional surface. But efficiency is not a function of surface area. You go through the expression. The answer to the question lies in the fact that with increasing value of H, with the increasing value of H, eta F decreases. You have to be careful about eta F. If you have a low eta F, there is no point gain is less, very fast class. That is why I started spin by telling that it provides a conduction resistance. Though we create more surface area to enhance the heat transfer by convection, but it provides a conduction resistance. And this conduction resistance becomes more and the efficiency becomes less if you have a high heat transfer coefficient. So, therefore, one has to judge this. But without going for any detailed analysis which is beyond the scope of this class, I tell you as an information 
that where age is high, usually things are not provided because of low ETA and we cannot provide a very large surface area because not only the cost but the space, space is a requirement where I am uh, installing this equipment to its fin. So therefore, we have to be pragmatic enough to have a meaningful gain which is the product of A by A B into each I. For fluid, especially liquid which has a high thermal conductivity in post convection gives a very high heat transfer coefficient. In boiling, condensation, phase change processes have high heat transfer coefficient. There, theta is usually low, we do not usually give fin. Okay. And from a very ready common sense stage, when the heat transfer coefficient is very high, the exposed bare surface will be enabled, will be capable enough to transfer heat. Why you are adding, why you are giving him, you are a brilliant student, why you are giving him a tutor? He himself can make it up like that. So therefore, sometimes this question is asked, if you have a heat exchanger on one side, liquid is going and turbulators are there to create more turbulence in the flow field and another side, gas is moving with a low velocity, which side you will provide spin? If you tell sir in the gas side, you get full mass, but if you say sir in the liquid side, flowing with high turbulence, get out zero because this is the concept that effectiveness of the fin. That means fin should not be used where the heat transfer coefficient is high, this is because of this fact. Okay? Clear?